So today, we're going to be teaching you guys how to make the ultimate spring charcuterie board. First cheese that we have is the brie cheese and brie cheese? Brie. The brie and it has that creaminess to it and it's just so good. We incorporate it into every one of our cheese boards. The next one we have is the manchego and Grace always adds this to her boards as well. I don't really like it because it's a bit waxy, but a lot of our friends like it and it has a bit of like a caramelized flavoring. The last cheese we're gonna be having today is the cheddar cheese and this isn't just any cheddar cheese, it's caramelized onion cheddar cheese which is from Trader Joe's and it's almost everyone's favorite and it has a bit more of like a crumbly texture to it. Now we're gonna introduce the meats that are going on. Normally when we have charcuterie boards, I don't really eat the meats. I like all the sweets and I love the crackers with the other things that are accompanying it. But a lot of people like the prosciutto that Grace uses on her boards. So this is from uh, Trader Joe's. They're both from Trader Joe's, right? So this is prosciutto and we're also gonna be using a dry salami as well. We have an assortment of crackers over here, which are from Costco, but we normally get them from either Costco or Trader Joe's because they're both really great. We're gonna be using our ultimate favorite jam. Our favorite brand is the Stonewall Kitchen and they have an array of different flavors that are all really, really good. Today, we scored this big jar from Costco and it's the organic wild main blueberry jam. And next we have our honey, and there's a lot of different ways to incorporate jams and honeys onto the board. Today we're gonna take the honey and put it on the brie and top it off with some berries. So berries start to be in season starting the spring and all throughout the summer. And these look really good and I felt like it would add a lot of good colors against that white brie. I wish these were from Lottery, but they're not. So we're gonna be adding some macarons for sweetness and also for some springy pastel -y colors. And also, we have our chocolate-covered almonds from Costco. These are really, really good. I'm so addicted to it. It's like milk chocolate and everything. Um, the last thing we're gonna be introducing are the cornicons, and this is really good to balance out all like that creamy flavor from the cheese and the salty flavors from the meats and the sweetness. So this will just kind of be there as like a palate cleanser almost. Now that we're done introducing all the things that are going on our board, let's get assembling. First off, we're going to start off by slicing the manchego cheese so that we can do this really cute crisscross pattern. Next, we're gonna ribbon up the prosciutto into this shape that Grace always likes to do, but I don't really understand. So she's actually gonna teach me how to do that. So what am I supposed to do? Fold it and crumble it? <laughs> so I... Do, it. do I take out a whole piece? Yeah, take out okay. the piece. Ah! It's so thin. Yeah. It's fatty. Oh. How's that? <laughs> no? <laughs> anyway. And we're also going to be cutting up the salami as well.
So you can't have a charcuterie board without a glass of wine in your hands or some type of really pretty drink. So Grace made this drink yesterday and it looked phenomenal. She sent me a picture of it and I was like, I want this so bad right now. It was like at 10 p.m. And so today we're gonna teach you guys how to make this. Very excited. It's so good, right? It's so good. It's like so citrusy. You guys, this is the perfect summer drink ever. It's so good. Like, I love mojitos, but I think this is my next favorite. Mm. Some brie and honey. What? Oh, 